I'm at the stern of the boat and I'm gonna remove the old pentals or gudgeons. Uh, I'm not sure or Larry exactly which one this is, but anyway, unbolt these. Hopefully fill the groove with some wood and make this wider for the new bronze ones. Okay, so a bit of dry rot, but I got them off. I'm removing some copper sheeting to clean this up so I can epoxy wood into here and uh, firm up this wood here, which is not rotted, but it is checked. Uh, the top's interesting. It looks like there's a copper pipe, which I'm not sure what it's for. So as I'm removing old copper sheeting, water is coming out. So it's holding water in the bottom of the keel here. And hopefully there's not much rot, but we'll find out as we remove the copper sheet from the boat. Okay, I've taken off a significant amount of copper sheet. Uh, I'm gonna let this wood dry out and probably epoxy the damage back in um, and not cover it up with copper sheet. Okay, so here's the keel with the copper removed. It's not in perfect shape, but it's not in as bad shape as it looks. We'll let it dry out, set it down, and uh, probably penetrating epoxy it to see how it goes. Need to cut the tin there and try to get it out from between the keel and the rest of the boat. Okay, so perhaps a bit elaborate, but here is the top rudder gudgeon. And to fill the space, I'm using this. This part here will be filled with thickened epoxy. It also has a, a bolt and some other obstructions in the way. These pieces fitting here to replace this and this. And uh, so then to attach the new gudgeon, it will look like this. This is the, the stern of the boat. This will be the new plate. This will fill on each side of the stern post. And they do all fit. However, that's what's gonna happen. To hold one of those, or one of these. Okay, so here is the setup for the middle gudgeon. And that gudgeon is right here. That's being replaced. And it will have one of those bronze gudgeons on it. So this one's cut at 20 degrees, the bottom at 30, and the top will probably be about 15 degrees on the cuts. I could, I thought about squaring these up on more of an angle, but I think it'll look all right. Uh, worst case, I'll cut it on the boat after it's epoxied in. Uh, either file it off or use an electric planer. Okay, and here is the setup for the bottom. Uh, this piece will be cut on site after I trim a bit of wood. These fill the straps on the port and starboard side. And if the rest, whoop, knocked it over. 
and uh, same thing uh, that fixes this pendulum gudgeon and it will have uh, one of those mounted on it on the face.